This video is brought to you by Biznet. For more information, go to biznet.com.au. In this video, we're going to look at the tab called My Projects. If you were to click on that tab now, it would say that there aren't any projects to look at, but there is a free one that you can use as a sample. And it's that first one there where the price says $0. Uh, so you've got these buttons over here that say Buy Now. If you click on Buy Now next to the free one, it says, hey, this is free, enjoy the project. Click on OK and the button turns green so that you can view it. We'll click on view now and Virtual Trainer takes us to my projects where it has this project showing. You can click on the project to see the tasks under it, click on a task to see the items or click on the items button at the top and this will show you all of the items for this project. You can see that there's a video attached to this item, there are people and resources attached to some of the other items. And what we're going to do is look at how the dashboard works with this project. So let's just put some information in here. I'm going to take a shortcut. This might take you a bit longer when you're doing it for real, but I'm just going to copy the same times in for all these different tasks. And just for a bit of variety, I might make the first task go for a bit longer, one hour. And we'll put some budget items in here as well. And we'll put a little bit of money into these items below and you can see that the tasks show an accumulation of all the information within each task and we'll also go and tick off some of these projects or these items I should say as complete and we'll leave some of these in progress and finally you can actually put in a difficulty score and the idea of that is if you want to compare it to the difficulty level that uh, was suggested, suggested by the person that created the project. It gives you an idea on how you're coping with the skill levels. And so there you go, we've put some time and money, we've completed tasks and we've got some difficulty measures in. So that should be enough to uh, have a look at some interesting information in our dashboard. So we'll click on dashboard here and it says make sure cube XLS is not open. So let's go to Excel Close that file because the virtual trainer is about to create that file for us. Click on OK and virtual trainer is now creating that cube file and it's updating the dashboard and asking us do we want to refresh the dashboard and we do. So here's the dashboard and that little watch uh, means that the dashboard is currently being updated with fresh data and when it's finished we can see here now that uh, we've spent a bit too much money on the download task because we've got a red KPI there. KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator. And in terms of time, we haven't started on dashboards down here, so we're not looking so good for there either. But overall, we're at 64, which means we're traveling okay. And there's, in our skill area, we're doing quite well. It's all green. That information is displayed in a 3D column chart over here on the right. And you can see that the money column is at zero for the download task. If we scroll down, we can see that 55% of our uh, items haven't been started, 15% are in progress, and 30% have been completed. And you can see over here that because we spent an hour right at the start, we've actually spent a lot more time on it than the target, but you can see that the target overtakes towards the end here. So that's showing us some accumulated information. And finally, at the bottom, we're seeing a Gantt chart. Now you can click on print preview and I'll just shrink this down a little bit so you can see it in the video. Here's a preview of this scorecard that you can print out and you can distribute those uh, to managers or to staff depending on how you're using the dashboard with Excel. So let's now go back to the project and what we've seen is we've updated the information and that information has been shown across in the dashboard with live updates. Just to confirm that, let's uh, go back to the dashboard, close the print preview, and we'll look at one piece of information. Let's say um, the pie chart, 15% uh, in progress. If we go back here, and we'll tick off all of the items so that there's no longer anything in progress. When we go to recreate the dashboard, again, make sure cube XLS is closed, so let's do that. Cube XLS 
is now closed. Run that. And the dashboard is now reopening with refresh data. And if we watch the pie chart down the bottom, you can see now that there are no uh, items in progress. So you're seeing that information as it's being updated in this FileMaker database is transferring straight across into the dashboard. And these Excel dashboards can work with almost any software. So I hope you enjoy using Virtual Trainer and that this training video has given you a bit of an idea on how to use the tab called My Projects. One more thing before we sign off. If you actually click on one of the items, you'll be able to then go in and view the video. Click the refresh button if you're connected to the internet and the video will load up into that window. And that really is it for this My Projects tab in Virtual Trainer. Thanks for watching.